A wife of the late Sir Lyndon Pinling today celebrating her 90th birthday with family and friends. And as our Lloyd Allen shares in his special feature, Dame Marguerite has remained focused on still her most prized memories, supporting the country which she calls home, along with her family and children which have become a part of her legacy. 90 years and counting, Dame Marguerite Pinling has inspired so many. And today, she celebrates her birthday. Her daughter, Michelle, says over the course of her life, Dame Marguerite has and continues to inspire. Well, my memories are different than her memories because I was born in 67. So they keep, you know, they make fun of me all the time that I wasn't born when they were growing up and I came on afterwards. And mommy calls me, uh, would say that, that I was born free. A different story, however, for daughter, Michelle, and the others. We were born before 1967 and my mom for my whole life has been this very same person you see today. Poised, refined, and graceful. This is the image I've always had of her. She may be this barefoot girl that came from Andros, but she was always fabulous. She was always very well put together. She was always just as you see her. I don't know a time when mommy wasn't this. Speaking to Dame Marguerite, she says her formative years were anything but fabulous. My parents were very simple uh, people. They were farmers, number one. My father was a farmer. Um, he was a boat builder. He used to say, take the creatures down to the Salina uh, for the day's feeding. Um, and they would leave strict instructions for us. It was very loving. Um, very, like I said, very simple. As a matter of fact, there was, there was nothing else there but the creatures and the birds. The product of a mixed household, Dame Marguerite admits, she quickly learned her role for which there was no script. I can tell you that my father was white and uh, he was in, he, he connected with the white, the UBBs. She adds even her circle was far removed from politics, at least up to the time she met Sir Lyndon Penling, who said those famous words to her. You have to follow me in order to understand what I'm doing. And I lived with a domineering sister. Like I said, I met Doris Johnson in, in grade six at Western Senior School, but they never talked politics, not to my recollection. Serving as wife of Sir Lyndon, who championed both locally and abroad under the banner of the newly formed Progressive Liberal Party, Dame Marguerite explains in the early days, she organized numerous fundraisers. They said as wife of the leader of the party, you have to go to beg from the shops. And I didn't know who the people were. I didn't have time to think about it. No one explaining it. They don't have the time to explain to it. But I picked up dead fast. Dame Marguerite says for the many years Sir Lyndon fought toward equality for Bahamians locally and abroad, she was the one at home with the children, a role she sees as her greatest accomplishment. I had to be mama and papa, mommy and daddy for my children because he was never at home. I always said to them about company, because I can remember my mama saying, bad company leads you astray. Mm -hmm. You cannot afford to keep company. You know who your daddy is. Mm -hmm. You do something to embarrass your daddy, you embarrass <coughs> all of us. And I drilled that in them. That dedication to excellence, she feels prepared her for her future role as governor general. And as her children have spent most of this year celebrating her long life, they say on this birthday, there is only one regret. We are only sad that Daddy couldn't be here to see her. He would be so proud of her. In fact, he would be standing here today taking all the credit <laughs> for how far she's come and how beautiful she well, is. she gives him the credit too, because okay. uh, she knows that he, she wouldn't have gotten this far if it wasn't for him. To a woman who continues to fulfill her role as a mother, not only to her children, but to a nation, Happy 90th birthday, Dame Marguerite. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen.